Hey guys, just uh, we're gonna wait for just a minute or so, just for maybe a couple more, more people to join in. So, but we have uh, Marie Day with us, who is with um, Stem Cell Works. So she's uh, the lady behind the uh, um, this great spray, which we'll go a little bit in uh, in detail of what it is and uh, how it works and. I'm sure a lot of people already know because I talked a lot about it. <laughs> so I'm just going to, we're going to go, we're going to start here in one second. Summer, you're, you're in Las Vegas right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, How is it down time. there? How is, I mean, uh, I'm going to guess it's really quiet, huh? Yeah, well, and the casinos and a lot of the bars and restaurants haven't opened up yet. So until that happens, it won't really get off the ground, you know. But it, yeah, it's been hard for people, particularly those in the tourism and bar industry, restaurants. Yeah. So we're still in a semi lockdown situation. Things are starting to slowly open up, like hair salons and things like that, but it's taking time. They're so how about keeping, you? They're still keeping everything closed? A lot of things are still closed, yeah. And because it all centres around, you know, the strip and people coming in, it's, and the hotels are all still closed, but they've just released, I think, dates. They're starting to open up the hotels next week on a staged process. So yeah, but they're losing millions of dollars, all the casinos and everything. Mm. But how about you in Washington? How's it going? Um, it's, it's about the same. Everything is shut down. Um, I think we're experiencing, um, I mean, in our state, we have um, about 30% unemployment rate, mm -hmm. which is, uh, pretty crazy to consider so um but it's uh i mean they're talking about opening up a couple of the, a couple of the um um like going to phase two mm -hmm. so but we'll see i'm not sure exactly what that means or, or when it's actually going to happen so there's a couple counties that are going into phase two or eligible to go into phase two but nobody's really gone into it yet so it's kind of a a big uh, kind of a big question mark so sure. yeah I think people are being a lot more health conscious so that's one positive I yeah definitely I hear that from all my clients and people are really looking at their future goals more and what they want in life and yeah social interaction so people are really missing the in-person connection yeah. Okay. Well, while Facebook Live is launching, um, I guess we'll just start. If you wanna go um, start with, um, you know, what is stem cells and stem cell works and um, how does it work? I mean, I guess that would be the big question. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Well, my business partner and I launched this supplement over ten. Well, we started developing it over ten years ago. And I was studying um, stem cells. I was working for the pathology unit in Australia at the time. I'm from New Zealand originally, but I've lived in the UK for 10 years. And I've also worked in Australia and in New Zealand in the health sector. Um, I worked at the District Health Board in New Zealand for over 10 years. So I worked with a lot of scientists and surgeons. And I learned about sublingual like if you take something under your tongue, it gets immediately into your bloodstream if it's the right formulation and can get through the blood brain barrier and everything else. And it has to be a smaller molecule to be able to do that because we have a small membrane that sits under our tongue and the absorption rate is a lot more effective. It's up to 95% absorption when done correctly with the right high grade ingredients and everything compared to pills and capsules which only offer a 10 to 20 percent absorption rate when they go down the gastrointestinal tract and I've got all the barriers of acids in the stomach and everything like that so I, I studied this for a long time 
And then when I was working in Australia at the pathology unit, I started to hear a lot about stem cells. And um, I really researched it for a number of years. And I thought there must be some natural ingredients that can stimulate our own stem cells. And these are our own body's own natural stem cells, which are in our body after we're born, not embryonic stem cells. We, um, we are obviously born and developed from embryos, but once we actually are born, our stem cells are classified as adult stem cells. And we have a lot of reservoirs of these stem cells in our bone marrow, we have them in our skin, we have them in our blood, our organs, and they, they change to a component more of maintenance and repair and renewal when, as they are classified as adult stem cells. And so they're in all these different areas in our body. And what we need to do is actually stimulate them into our bloodstream so they can actually migrate throughout the body with the bloodstream being our principal carrier of nutrients in our entire body. And they actually migrate to areas where there's a wound or there's inflammation or there's disease or we're under attack and we have a virus or some kind of ailment that's causing a problem. That stem cells will automatically be drawn to that area and they just start attaching themselves to try and stop the invaders. And it's really amazing field and I really studied it a lot in the biological development in the last five years even since you know we've developed this product have just gone through the roof it's really been incredible what's happening and how they can pinpoint stem cells now in a certain place like macular degeneration they can inject them into the back of the eye and the stem cells will start renewing the cells from the back of the eye people are getting their eyesight restored and things like that. But that takes a precise medical um, you know, procedure where we're talking about a formulation which we develop, which is sprayed under the tongue. So you're getting the maximum absorption of the nutrients. It's got three key ingredients in it, which all stimulate your own stem cells in their own right, but stacked together, they give a triple effect. And we've got all the clinical studies to back this up. And we got our patent approved in November last year, which was very exciting because it's been in the patent office for years. And because it's a natural ingredient, it's quite unusual that we were able to get the patent approved. So we were very pleased about that. So it's straight under the tongue. What happens is it stimulates your own adult stem cells, mostly the mesenchymal stem cells, which reside in our bone marrow, stimulated. And they're stimulated into our bloodstream and they help protect us with our immunity, our strength. Uh, they reduce a lot of inflammation in the body. That's one of the key things it does. And it helps with endurance and energy, um, helping people with aches and pains, joint pain. We have a lot of people that recover from accidents and just from taking the supplement alone. And obviously, if they've got a severe joint pain or joint issue, it can take, you know, two, three months before they really notice the key benefit. But yeah, it's and that's, yeah. And that's, a, that's a lot what I had my personal experience is um, I got into a big car accident last year and I have a, my AC joint is uh, got disconnected and um, the big recovery was with the stem cell works. Um, you know, you could really feel um, kind of it really helping the soft tissue healing way faster than it should be. So it's, it's, it's incredible really. So, and I mean, uh, my recovery was, um, I mean, I could, I, they wouldn't let me move my hand around, but you know, once I was able to move my hand around, I felt like it was, I mean, I mean, incredible results after, um, you know, six weeks, which I was, it had to be in a, in a sling for six weeks, but after that, it was a, an incredible turnaround. So it was, um, so um, are, what, what are the ingredients? Are, are the ingredients, um, I mean, they're organic ingredients, right? Yes, they're all natural ingredients. I can actually show you some slides, which is easy to explain laying probably the ingredients if you'd like me to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll just go through that. So. 
just easier to It's just my business. Oh, that was my dad because it really helped him. He was diagnosed with sarcoidosis, which affects the lymph nodes. And um, he's now 83 and in fantastic health. But oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's been incredible for him. So it's got three key ingredients, which are bovine colostrum, which has got over 30% um, of the antibody IgG, which is fantastic for building up a healthy immune system, which we all need, obviously, at the moment with COVID. And the transferosferitrol is a 99% purity, which is from Japanese knotweed. And we have the poidin, which is from a brown seaweed, which is a 95% purity. So yes, it's all natural ingredients. And so I'll just get on to the bovine colostrum, which is the pre-milk. It's produced by mothers when they get pregnant. And for this particular one, it's bovine colostrum, which comes from cows, because cow bovine colostrum has 21 times more growth and immune factors than human colostrum, because when a calf is first born, they have no immunity to airborne diseases. So they must get their mother's colostrum immediately within like 24 to 48 hours. And, um, and then it protects them against these airborne diseases. And it's full of nutrients. Um, it's just a wonderful ingredient. It's been around for a long time. And the bovine colostrum we use has over 30% um, of the IgG, which is an antibody, and it's just fantastic. Um, in terms of how it's manufactured. It's not frozen, it's not heat treated, it's only spray dried, and so it doesn't lose all the nutrients. And the cows are raised here in the USA where our product is manufactured. It's GMO free, the cows are hormone treatment free, obviously, they're antibiotic free, and they're BSET tested as well and free, so there's no problems there. So, Bovine colostrum is fantastic for strengthening the immune system and it's got it's full of antibodies, it's full of amino acids, it's got many, many proteins in it, and so it really does help your body build up its immune system and fight disease. And um, the immune response works at the cellular level like all these ingredients which is so important because we have 50 to 70 trillion cells in our body and we're mostly made up of cells. So you want everything to be working at the cell level. So this is what in it does. Um, so yeah, um, two of the key antibodies in bovine cluster are IgA and IgG, and it's also got a number of others. So there's a lot of uh, clinical studies behind how bovine colostrum stimulates stem cells and it also helps promote the T and B cells which communicate together to build a healthy immune response and helps the white blood cells which are our blood cells which attack invaders in the body and the cyclokines of the proteins and they're also stimulated by taking bovine colostrum. So that's just the clinical data on that. And then we had independent testing done by an immunologist and she showed that, you know, bovine colostrum replenishes stem cells, it activates them in the body and to get the best results is when they're in the bloodstream. And this was just um, and this was just with 12.5 milligrams where with the stem cell works you're actually getting per day you're getting 360 milligrams of bovine colostrum you're getting 105 milligrams of respiratrol which we'll get on to in a minute which is another ingredient and you're getting 44 mg's of bacoidin in a daily dose so it's very pure you're getting it directly into your bloodstream and that's why the activation of the stem cells is so high like with the clinical studies we did, um, that's just showing the different proliferation levels of bovine colostrum and how it stimulates stem cells. But with the study, we used blood samples from 20 healthy humans, and it was done through a doctor in Torrance, and they had their blood work done every two to four weeks, 
um, using a proper flow symmetric meter, which um, actually shows stem cells being activated in the blood and there was 80% proliferation of the stem cells with just 25 NGs of the formulation. So it's very effective in stimulating a person's own stem cells. And like I said earlier, particularly the mesenchymal stem cells, which are in our bone marrow. And as we age, they get lazy and dormant and they actually decline because they're locked in there and they just get lazy and dormant if they're not activated. So that's why we need a formulation like this to activate our stem cells, to keep them moving and keep them activated and boosted and so that and get into the bloodstream. Um, we also had clinical testing done on against another stem cell supplement. At the time when we developed this, we were the only stem cell supplement in the market with one other called Stem Enhance. And this is just a graph showing the difference of how much the stem cell work was able to produce. This is the GCSF, which is absolutely critical to stimulate stem cells. And um, this is what ours showed compared to the one that we did the study in, the comparable, which is just so much lower. Miles yeah. So all these tests were done and um, it took four years for the R&D to be done on the supplement. And then just that's about the intraoral delivery and how much better absorption you get through this type of formulation. So it's because it's sprayed under the tongue. And then we have the second ingredient, which is resveratrol. And the resveratrol we use is from Japanese knotweed, which is a native plant from Japan. And um, it's been around, it's a lot, a lot of people talk about resveratrol and grapes, but the grape resveratrol is very low and not a good resveratrol in terms of effectiveness. The best source of resveratrol is that from Japanese knotweed. So um, that's a plant that's been in Asia for a long time and it helps activate our cardiovascular system. Um, it's got a lot of other benefits as well, so it doesn't just stimulate stem cells. So there's also the cheaper versions of resveratrol in the market contain emodium, which is not a good thing. So this has hardly any emodium in it. Sometimes the cheaper resveratrol supplements out in the market contain fillers and emodium levels are up to sometimes more than 50%. So people have to be very mindful of that if they're buying a cheaper resveratrol. And then there's two types of um, resveratrol. There's trans resveratrol, which you want to be taking, which is this type of resveratrol from Japanese knotweed, because it gets very easily absorbed into the body. And when re trans resveratrol is taken in a formulation sprayed under the tongue, it's 250 times more effective than when it's taken in a pill. It's suited for the um, under the tongue method of absorption. And so it's very, very valuable that, and very important that somebody takes it sublingually. So, Yeah, so yeah, we'll see two doctors, um, Bauer and Sinclair at Harvard Medical School that developed and found that resveratrol works by activating the enzyme SIRT1. And this is also a great enzyme for anti-aging. So there's been a lot of uh, great clinical studies done on resveratrol and now it's well over 1800 studies. I mean, it's probably more like 5,000 now. So resveratrol is essentially, oh, I don't know what's wrong with my mic. Resveratrol is essentially really helps with anti-aging. Mm, yes, it does. Because what it does is stimulate our mitochondria, which is the engines of our cells. And then that's another thing as we age, the mitochondria levels drop um, completely. So, and it also helps like, in our blood naturally and um, it helps with a lot of different cardiovascular uh, benefits as well. 
And so if you look online, there's many, many studies to support the cardiovascular benefits as well. And people lose weight, um, and that's a lot of that is to do with the resveratrol because oh, it stimulates oh. the metabolism. And when you've got your cells energized, it's really helping your metabolism burn more fat. So we get a lot of diabetics and people that have got medical problems and are a bit overweight who lose weight when they take them for work. I haven't had the experience of losing weight um, just because I don't really have a whole lot to lose. I've always been um, too skinny is what everybody always told me. So um, I can't testify to being losing weight, but I didn't, you know, lose the weight that I needed. So, or I mean, lose the weight that, I, you know, any additional weight that I didn't want to lose. So, yeah. Okay, well that's good too. Yeah, it certainly benefits both. And the other is the phacoidin, which is the third ingredient, and we have a 95% pure phacoidin, and um, that's all manufactured here in the USA, and that is a fantastic ingredient that the Japanese have used for many, many years. It's anti-aging as well, but it really helps increase the cell regeneration, and it's actually stimulates our CD34 cells, which are a subset of stem cell, adult stem cells, and it supports our skin and cellular maintenance, repair and renewal. Uh, it's just got a lot of benefits. A lot of cancer patients take it to help build up their immune system after, when they're in remission. And, you know, we have a lot of cancer patients that take the Stem Cell Works formulation once they've had all their treatments and they're in remission to help build up their immune system. So. That is also um, a lot of studies on the coitin and um, just how it helps stimulate the stem cells and blocks cancer cells. The um, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center found that it actually helps block a number of cancer cells. So they give it to their cancer patients. And it's all natural ingredients. So they are the three key ingredients. And the supplements manufactured here by a leading laboratory that's been well established. It's GMP approved and FDA inspected, and they specialise in liquid formulations. So um, we're really pleased that we've got it. You know, such a wonderful USA laboratory, and we have got the best laboratories here in the world. Yeah, because when we first tried to develop the supplement. I was living in Australia at the time, uh, working at the pathology unit, and I went out to a number of laboratories, and there was no laboratories that could even consider making it other than USA laboratories. So that's why I moved over here in 2011 to make sure it could get developed here. Well. Wow. So um, I guess we got a quick question from somebody. Um, does this help with pain? Yes, it does help with pain. Uh, we do have people with some severe pain issues, um, people that have broken their ankles or their AC joint like you did. Um, mm -hmm. We have people that are in pain from diseases. And the main thing it does is to help with the pain, first off, is it helps reduce a lot of inflammation in the body. So the formulation, once it gets into the bloodstream, it really does reduce the inflammation. And swelling, people um, also have a lot of swelling around their joints, which causes pain. And it can, for arthritis, for instance, it can take two to three months before it really starts to work properly. So, um, but for other, you know, smaller injuries, it really can benefit within a matter of weeks. Generally, people really start to see benefits around the three-week mark. So it's 12 sprays a day. Most people take those six in the morning, six in the afternoon, or um, not too late in the evening because you can get too much energy from it. 
So that's, um, it's, yeah, and we've had people that have had swollen um, feet and things like that, and they've really had a lot of pain from that, and they've taken the formulation, and then their feet have just gone right down, the swelling's disappeared, and they've been able to wear shoes that they haven't worn for years. We get some incredible testimonials. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I got a, a really good testimonial from um, a customer of ours that's been buying from us for, for a year. Actually, hasn't bought in a while, which I'm guessing everything is really good then. Um, but he's had a, a severe heart issue, so his heart was failing to the point of um, he only had a couple of years left to live. And uh, he went on, on the peptides, which you know are really good for, for regrowth, and it really helped him a lot. Um, and kind of how the story goes is, after he's really he really fixed his heart uh, over a course so um it, it took him a little while um but after a couple of years he was kind of back and um and and uh alive and uh, kicking and he started working on his uh the big thing that he was really trying to battle is uh he was starting to you know become healthier so he started exercising and uh, the big thing that he couldn't do is he couldn't do any physical exercise because his heart muscle has been, um, hasn't had a lot of exercise. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the one, you know, and so we, you know, we send him out a bottle of the stem cell works um, and he uh, calls about uh, two weeks later. So, I mean, this isn't a long time. And he said, Vlad, you wouldn't, you're not gonna believe this. Um, and I mean, this is very anecdotal, right? This is just kind of the story that I heard. So it's, um, but the story that he says is, you know, before I started, when I started, I can't, I couldn't run more than a minute. And it was just, um, you know, just, I couldn't, I just get gassed out and, and I can't move at all. And uh, he said, I started spraying this. I mean, he started spraying a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's, um, sorry, Jolyn's leaving. So thank you, Jolyn, for her attending, but we'll, there's gonna be a recording. Um, so, and he calls uh, and he says, you know, I couldn't run longer than one minute. And he started spraying it 10 times a day, twice a day. So he started kind of going a little bit more. Um, and he comes back and he says, Vlad, I'm running 15 minutes nonstop, intense, like intensely. He's like, I've never been able to do this in my entire life. So yeah. it's, I mean, I, I didn't, I mean, I've, I knew that, um, you know, cause we had a lot of, uh, one of the guys, Ed, Ed Parr actually is he's, he's a athlete. Um, mm -hmm. and he, you know, he introduced me, I think essentially to this product and he it helped him a lot with, um, joint pain and soft tissue damage from running. But mm. so I kind of always treated it as something that'll help with joint pain restoration of your of your cartilage, um, you know, essentially soft tissue issues um, and just overall, you know, well-being, but concentrating it, you know, more on soft tissue type, uh, type yeah. issues. But now, you know, with, uh, you know, the gentleman, Bruce, um, you know, he comes back and he said, you know, I'm, I can run. I'm running for 10 minutes. And, you know, two weeks later, he calls me, he's like, what? I'm running for 30 minutes a day now. <laughs> so, which, you know, with his heart condition, you know, and, you know, ultimately being five years away from being on his deathbed, you know, to be able to be jogging 30 minutes, um, mm. you know, is pretty incredible. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I love hearing those kind of testimonials and just the difference it's made to people it really has been phenomenal for so many people. So that's great. Yeah, and it does work at that connective tissue level because those mesenchymal stem cells, that's exactly what they do. They connect our tissue, they repair and renew our tissue, and the best stem cells are those that come from the bone marrow. So um, it's wonderful that it's doing those kind of things for people for sure. Yeah. So um, on, the, on the stem cell works, just uh, the question that I have. Um, so 
it stimulates active stem cells. Is that my understanding? So, so because um, from some of the research that I've done, you have your you have like sixty or seventy percent of your stem cells that never even get activated. Um, mm. A lot of people that do stem cell therapy of their injecting live cells, it doesn't always um, have you know as profound results as they should be, just because you already have stem cells, but they're just not active. Um, yeah. So with stem cell works, uh, is it activating or is it stimulating active cells to do more repair or is it activating dormant cells? Well, both actually. What it does is, good question, is it activates the pool of our dormant stem cells, which are locked in the bone marrow, as well as our active stem cells, which are in there as well. And what it does when they're proliferated is they actually divide and increase. So that is what it does. So it can activate and the, both the dormant stem cells and our own active stem cells. And they're not only the ones that are in the bone marrow, they're in our skin, our muscle. Uh, we have them in our blood as well already. So well, once this formulation hits there, it's actually boosting our active and our dormant stem cells. And with the methinkimal stem cells, it actually increases them by dividing them and giving you more in many cases. So that's for the proliferation. So it is actually increasing our stem cell count as well on certain stem cells. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what about, so um, really quick on the, uh, so uh, I guess uh, actually, Terry is asking the question that <laughs> I was kind of gonna gonna get into a little bit. Um, recommendations for taking it. Um, what's a recommended dose, and what is going to be? Um, and you know, is do you need? What is it? You know, do you need to increase your dose, go higher or lower in cases? Um, and um, is there any good practice to take it? Is it before food, after food, with food? Is, does that any of that matter? Sure. Yes, it does. It is better absorbed even, even more effectively if you haven't got any food in your system for at least 30 minutes before or after taking it. So I always take mine first thing in the morning as soon as I wake up. Okay. And you can take some liquids with it, tea, coffee, but um, it is a lot more effective if you haven't got food in in your system at all. Um, even though it's going through under the tongue, through the membrane, you just don't want food to be in your body. It's just more effective and um, does absorb even better. So if you can, just wait 20 to 30 minutes before eating, before and after. Um, in terms of the dose, the general dosage is, which we've tested on a lot of different adults, various weights and things, it's 12 sprays per day, although some people that are 200 pounds or more do benefit from taking 18 to 20 sprays a day, and we have had better feedback from those clients when they've taken more sprays. So you can, and we also have athletes that take more sprays as well. They just are more in tune with their body and they can handle taking more sprays. But generally, and then we have some people which are in their 70s and 80s, and they only need eight or six or eight sprays a day. Per day. Because um, they're, sometimes they're less in body weight and they've got more health issues and they're more sensitive. So they find if they take too many sprays, it just keeps them too awake. Um, they don't sleep as well. They get too much energy. So it is a little bit of a try, you know, you need to try it out for yourself for the first week or two and make sure that um, you know you're getting the right dosage but generally if you're fit and healthy and between 20 years of age and like 70 generally and a fairly good weight um, standard weight you know the 12 sprays really work well for most people so that's how it's recommended. Yeah I always take water right after the stem cell works because it has a little bit of a taste. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. A lot of people find that, that it's better tasting if they keep it in the refrigerator. And I keep mine in the refrigerator all the time. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. So. Um, did you want to, uh, I, well, I, uh, 
So I guess uh, perfect, kind of right on time with the next question. Terry has, how late uh, do you recommend, I guess, can you take the second dose? And if it's too close to bed, uh, does it keep you awake? Yes, it can do. So I always take mine by 6 p.m. at night. Although we have got clients who find they, they can take it a bit later and they sleep fine. So um, you stim and the good thing is about um, taking it and sleeping once you've taken it is your stem cells really work hard at night when we're asleep. And so they really activate because our body's resting, we're actually getting those activation straight into the bloodstream and it's really doing a lot of work without any other barriers or interference during the day. So it really does wonders if you do take a little bit later at night and sleep and you can sleep. But I can't take it too late at night myself. I can't really take it after six thirty. It just energizes me too much. Oh, oh you know, I'll be up wanting to back and clean the house at midnight or something. So <laughs> I just um yeah. I just know my body and um, so I just take it really by six. But I like going to the gym about five. So I like to take it before I go to the gym because our, you know, our absorption rate and all our um, activators are open even more when we go to the gym and exercise as well. Our body even absorbs nutrients even more when we're exercising. So that's a good time to take it as well. We have a lot of people that are really into fitness that take it for endurance and um, just repair and recovery faster after going to the gym or doing their training. So that's a really good one too. Mm, but yeah, cool. it's up to everybody. It is up to each person really about how long, if they're really sensitive though, I wouldn't recommend they take it after 6 p.m. Okay, thank you. Um, really, um, I guess, if you have a little bit more time, I wanted to cover, um, I guess, two other products that you have. Um, cause I, I uh, well, I, t I think the brain cell works um, mm. daily because I don't know, for me, my brain is my biggest <laughs> thing that I, you know, I work at, you know, this is something that keeps me, keeps me working. So it's, you know, I, I really try to see, figure out any way I can to stimulate it and to keep her operating. So, um, you know, so I, I, I do take the brain cell works um, quite a bit. Um, can you talk a little bit about, about, you know, essentially what it is and what it does? Oh, sure. This is the Brain Cell Works supplement here. So it's got the ginkgo and uh, obviously pharmaceutical grade. It's got the transferferitrol and the alpha GPC, which is a 90% purity, which is really fantastic. And alpha GPC is a natural proline in our brains, which this actually activates. And over in Europe, it's a prescription drug. So here we can actually get it over the counter, which is nice. fantastic. Yeah, but they actually in Europe, they prescribe this to a lot of patients with Alzheimer's. So, um, and to get that purity, it, it's a very expensive ingredient. So we're very fortunate that our lab knows how to source these ingredients and does a wonderful job. So this is fantastic for concentration, memory, helping brain health overall. Uh, we get a lot of good feedback on it. We've got a lot of repeat water clients now. That, that market's built up. It's taken a little while to build up for the brain cell work, but it's really starting to take off now. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one of our key products. And then we have the testosterone work. Have you taken this, Lynn? I haven't, <laughs> but it probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> this is... Um, yeah, a lot of women and men take the supplement. Oh, so it's not, it's not just for men. Yeah. So um, this has got the mucina purins in it. It's all plant-based. Uh, it's got tripolis, maca root. So and but it's got a lot of vitamins in it. But it's all natural, um, all plant-sourced uh, ingredients. And it's in the spray as well. So you're getting that really high absorption rate. And it helps increase your testosterone levels naturally. 
but it also helps a lot of people. A lot of people that exercise a lot take this because it really helps with their endurance. Um, and they really find they repair and recover a lot quicker from the exercising. So that's our other key supplement and that's really built up you know, strongly the market for that. And they're all water soluble ingredients. So that getting quickly into the bloodstream and they're all taken in the spray the same way. So yeah. Okay. Well, um, I guess um, I want to, I guess, open the floor if there's any questions. I know people have been sending in questions, but if uh, anybody else. Perfect. Well, um, so just for everybody, uh, uh, we do have a really exciting um really uh, we have we do have a doctor in a in another webinar that we're going to be doing next thursday so um just so everybody is aware there's uh so she's a anti-aging doctor so she's you know going to be able to help us answer a lot of questions about peptides and everything else so if you guys want to make sure you uh, put that on your calendars. We'll get, there'll be an email, but uh, there's no more questions. I guess. Uh, thank you, Marie, for your time. And uh, this has been very right. actually. You know, I've been selling this product for a while, um, and I, I thought I knew a lot about it, but I guess <laughs> there's always you know a lot to learn. So it's been very informative uh, for me as well. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, and I hope everybody's staying safe. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, and uh, thanks so much for your time and getting on a, on a call with us. And um, hopefully, uh, we'll we'll do this again shortly. Yeah, sounds wonderful. Okay, thank you so oh, much. Um, really quick, quick question: yeah. Are we able to get a? Would it be possible to get a copy of that uh, PowerPoint? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll email you. Yeah, because there's a lot of information in there I didn't cover at all, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And people can take the supplement with most medications as long as they're not on blood thinners or antidepressants, which is just the standard, you know, precaution. But uh, it does go well with other medications. And you can also take the three supplements together. They will complement each other and do different things. And yeah, I, I, take two of them to get, I, I took two of them together for a while when I was um, fixing up my shoulder. Um, yeah. So actually, I mean, the one interesting story that you don't know, I guess maybe I mean, Brian and some of the other people, they've probably already heard a lot of it, but um, this is one of the big supplements that re really helped my brother um, when he, uh, so my brother fell off a building four stories into mm -hmm. concrete, um, landed on his back, um, broke four, well, I don't I think it's more than four or five, it's pretty much half of his back had fractured vertebrae um, and this is just in September of last year. Um, and uh, he, you know, so we ended up flying out there and bringing him, you know, cases of supplements because, you know, this is kind of the stuff that you get ready for, you know, I guess, you know, and in, in, uh, I guess our industry is, you know, you have all of the tools. So we were smuggling in uh, supplements at the hospital um, because, I mean, I mean, I have nothing against modern medicine and modern medicine does, you know, has its place and, you know, I guess works, you know, does what it's supposed to, but um, there is just so much more behind, um, you know, drug, you know, drugs and, and uh, you know, sur surgeries, um, you know, I, we kind of came in and, you know, stem cell works as, um, you know, and that was my big thing is because it was a soft tissue, this was, kind of the key spot for it to work. So, yeah. um, and he's had actually a pretty incredible recovery. Um, so there was one hiccup in, in the process. He got an infection in his, uh, his hardware got infected. Mm. Um, so it was a staph infection. So they had to pull out his hardware and install new hardware here two months ago. Um, but you know, aside from that, his recovery has been um, pretty miraculous and incredible. So um, you know, I guess thank you for your products. 
you know, because, you know, it does, it does affect people, you know, me, you know, with my, with my, uh, um, shoulder injury and, you know, my brother with his back and pelvis and wrists, you know, they were all broken. Um, yes. so they had to have reconstructive surgery to put them all back together. But, um, the recovery process, you know, it's been, uh, I mean, it's literally 45 days from having surgery to being able to use his, um, you know, to be able, I mean, he walked after two, two weeks after his pelvis surgery, yeah. you know, he started using his hands, um, 25 days after his surgery, once they took off his, you know, he was casted up and, you know, the recovery and the, you know, how the tissue grew back. It's all, it was all really, really incredible. So, um, and the sooner somebody can start taking it after a major accident like that, the better too. Although we have had motorcyclists that have started taking the supplement like a year after because they've broken their ankles and they just haven't healed and they've started taking stem cell work. We had one guy in Australia and his ankle just, the swelling went down completely and the ankle has now started to heal. And that was after him trying so many different things that didn't work for a whole year after his accident. And that stem cell works is the only thing that reduced the swelling and actually started the healing process. So yeah, but the sooner somebody can start taking it after a major accident like that, the better, because it's really gonna start working on that connective tissue and getting the nutrients into the blood. So. Yeah, I started taking it the day the day of my car accident. I came home from the hospital and I <laughs> sprayed ten, 10 sprays in my mouth of stem cell works. And and that's you know, and my brother, you know, we flew him out and you know, he was in ICU for um two weeks um for you know oxygenation issues and a couple of uh, other issues. But um yeah, we were out there and as soon as you know we got it, um uh you know we were we were started you know started spraying him with uh you know giving it as you know we were doing 10 sprays just because we were you know really wanted it to work faster so yeah. actually terry got a quick question too here um can this be of assistance with trigger point soreness and pain uh, in, t in soft tissue oh for sure yes because the syncomal stem cells are the main adult stem cells that are stimulated and what they do is they move into the bloodstream and like I said, they proliferate. So they increase and activate the dormant one. And these are the healing and repair stem cells to help with soreness and pain. And a lot of people have the swelling, internal swelling around with, um, the joint or the area which is causing the pain. And this actually works on reducing it significantly. So that is another reason. And then the stem cells, once the swelling has gone down, the stem cells even work better and they attach to that area and do their work. So it's got the combination of all those factors which help majorly with any kind of repair or joint pain or type of swelling, uh, soreness. And for arthritis, it's probably one of the trickiest ones to treat, but we get some fantastic feedback from people with arthritis too, but it can take two to three months before they really start to notice the difference. All right, well, I guess, uh, I think this is uh, gonna be it. So thanks everybody for your questions. Thank you, Marie, for uh, being here and uh, for your wonderful product. and. Um, if anybody else has any other questions, you know, there, you guys have my email, Vlad at QISupplements.com. You can just send it to me. And, um, if there's anything I can help you guys with, um, I'll be glad to, you know, I'll ask Marie for more specific information for things I can't answer. So, um, thank you, Marie. Thanks for, uh, for having me. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. Really enjoyed it. Right, Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.